I, I guess these are my smile lines. Those are the main things that are bothering me today. I'd also like my face to look a little bit fuller. I, my face is kind of drooping. They form because you lose volume in your cheeks. So I always try to address the cheeks first. If you don't have a lot of collagen or fat in your cheeks, then that causes nasolabial folds to deepen. So we do the uh, cheeks first, then sometimes the nasolabial folds disappear or they soften quite a bit and you don't need as much. The weight of your face should be in your cheeks, it shouldn't be in the jowl area. So lots of times people will pull their faces up, say I look better like this, and that's because this is where it kind of holds your face up. Years ago, we used to just inject the nasolabial folds. They told us to inject the nasolabial folds and the marionette lines, and what was happening is everybody started looking like monkeys, because the weight of their face was down here and the cheeks were flat. So now we're saying, wait, what about the cheeks? That used to be fuller. You know, there's really no problems doing the nasolabial folds if people really want that, but I always try to stress that that adds weight to your lower face. If you don't address the cheeks, sometimes it just isn't as flattering. Yes, you have to be very careful because you can occlude a vessel, especially uh, by the nose. The key thing is not too much. Inject slowly. Don't put big blobs of filler in. And just kind of, just be careful. I've never had an occlusion, thank goodness. but you've got a nice cheekbone. As you age, this will become more bony looking. It's nice to have like a cheekbone with a nice curve, mm -hmm. but sometimes older people, they have like a drop off where it's no longer curved. It's mm -hmm. like they look kind of bony. So that's where I'm gonna add a little volume. It's looking better. Do you wanna see? Oh yeah, I can see it. See, it's a little prettier cheek. Uh -huh. This is where you were kind of hollow. So I put in Restyl and Lift, and I used probably like a syringe and a third. Okay. A little bit over. I softened this line right here, and then you had a little bit of a jowl, little pooch right here. So what I did was I just tried to blend a little by making this whole area as smooth as I can. And then I just did a teeny drop by your nose in the nasolabial fold, because it's so small and you'd hardly need any. So let's do a little on the other side. I'm gonna do the same thing. One thing we didn't go over is how long the filler lasts. The filler will last about a year. So you've got a dip here, mm -hmm. and there's something going on, like this doesn't seem smooth. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna just do a little filler there and make that smoother. Okay. Okay, now you take a peek. Much better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay, good. How much do most people get? Most people get at least three syringes. My face feels so numb. Numb, yeah. <laughs> All right, you did good. Thank you. Cold compresses will help with swelling. Um, you're not gonna be numb six hours, but maybe another 30 minutes or so, or even less. Blood thinners afterwards could still make you bruise, so if you can, stay away. Okay. This says you can swell seven days. I usually don't see that. It's more like two or three. Okay. Let's say you want to do a little bit more. We wait two weeks for everything to settle, and then you can always do more. Okay. And okay to put on makeup uh -huh. tomorrow. Like yep. Facial. All right. Okay. Now, if you have any questions, you're going to call me. Absolutely. <laughs>